arterial aging or vascular aging. Today, this term is getting to be more and more fashionable to express why. Because the chronological age and the arterial age can be different. One subject could have an extremely nice arterial condition, even in age of 80, however, which is unfortunately a very bad situation. A second subject, aging 40 years, could have a very, very, very advanced arterial age. Basically, as one very famous physician said, we are as old as our arteries. So the arterial aging today is mostly uh, concerned regarding the stiffening of the arteries and especially stiffening of the aorta. So today the arterial age is may mostly express as aortic pulse wave velocity. Why? Because we know very well that the aortic pulse velocity is getting to be higher and higher according to our age. However, the speed of the vascular aging or arterial aging varies individually. One subject would show a very sharp increase in the arterial age and unfortunately can die early. The second subject could have a very mitigated increase and can live longer. So a very big question, why the arterial age should be assessed as aortic pulse velocity measurement? Why not enough to measure the cholesterol, to measure the, pulse, to, to measure the uh, blood pressure and many other parameters. Because we know well from a work from Stefan Loran and Peter Nilsson that while the aortic pulse velocity and the arterial stiffness is increasing with the age, however, the different parameters like the, let's say, peripheral blood pressure, they are fluctuating in our time. This is zero year, this is 80 years. This is normal, this is very abnormal parameters. Also, the serum glucose can change in our life significantly. Consequently, all of these markers, which are considered as traditional risk factors, may change in our life. And then if we measure as score or Framingham rescoring, it may give a constant value because the measurement as a snapshot just provides us an actual information and the aortic pulse velocity and the arterial age gives us a so-called cumulative index about the different damaging effect of the different traditional parameters. So the arterial age issue is a very, very interesting issue today and it is uh, measured more and more Several methods are available to measure the aortic pulse velocity. And today we conclude in the medical field that the aortic pulse velocity as a regional pulse velocity is the best indicator of the aortic and the arterial age assessment. Question, could we influence our aortic or arterial age or not? We do feel and we do have data that the lowering of the blood pressure and the uh, providing appropriate uh, pharmacological and non-pharmacological treatment to the patient, the arterial age increase could be slowed down, which provides a better life expectancies to our subjects. Mm -hmm.